everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really well. So today I have another how to style video. Today we are styling asymmetric tops. If you're new around here and unfamiliar with these type of videos, basically I share a mini series, which is my how to style series, where I share different ways to style a particular trend. So something I've been seeing a lot on the high street, something I've been seeing a lot on like my favorite Instagrammers and all that sort of stuff. Basically a trend that is popular right now and show you three different pieces and three different ways to style those. So it's just a nice way for me to be able to show you some new pieces, but also incorporating them with older pieces in my wardrobe that I already own. And just hopefully if you are thinking about trends or not too sure how to style them, or you've seen something on the high street or online or wherever a lot and you're thinking should I buy this I'm not quite sure how to style it hopefully this will help also if you're new around here a really really quick introduction hello my name is Patricia and I upload videos weekly on my channel so if you're not yet subscribed it would be absolutely amazing if you did click that subscribe button and subscribe to my YouTube it would be amazing to have you as part of my little YouTube fam and so no more waffling let's get started starting off with a really really simple piece now this is just obviously an asymmetric one shoulder bodysuit. This is from New Look and it is a body. I do believe this also comes in white, but I have the black. It's just got a ribbed effect through it, but it's really just a plain and simple bodysuit with a one shoulder. It's so easy to incorporate into your style. I'm actually looking at the tag now and this one is New Look Tall. So if you are a tall girl or have a tall torso, which I do like a long torso, this always works a little bit better, particularly with bodysuits. Like you hate feeling, well, I hate feeling really restricted in them. So just a heads up about that. But yeah, absolutely beautiful. It's just a black ribbed bodysuit, one shoulder, long sleeve, and just so nice. So despite it being quite a casual and I would say almost very easy to dress as an everyday piece, I actually decided to go for the other end of the scale and I went dressed up with this one. Like I said, it's going to be so easy to incorporate into your wardrobe. It's easy for daytime wear, but also really easy to put into evening wear. So I styled this as more of an evening wear kind of look. I paired it with a satin slip midi skirt. I am loving these midi skirts right now. Let me know if you're also loving them but I decided to pair it like this my midi is quite a like emerald greeny color and I feel like the two go beautifully together they just complement each other really really nicely it's almost like a dalmatian print which is beautiful and then for shoes I just went for some block heel sandals you can't go wrong now that we're going into spring with some block heel sandals and I think these look absolutely perfect with this look they really really just finish it off outfit number two is based around this off shoulder number which you will have seen if you've seen my Zara haul I will leave a link to it in a card up here somewhere and I will also leave it linked in the description box down below but this was featured in my Zara haul so you've seen it there and I decided to style it in this video so it's just it's very much a shirt like effect which I really liked about this I thought it was very dressed up and I mean you've probably seen this on loads of people already I know I have the hem is an asymmetric hem which I think is really really pretty just like sort of adds to the asymmetricness I don't think that's a word but you know it sort of complements the one shoulder vibe and having an asymmetric hem as well we've got a cuff so it's really got that shirt like feel to it which is a little bit smarter in my opinion and then just a hammered gold button which I think is absolutely beautiful like I'm all into gold jewelry that's why I wear the most so I feel like this is just perfectly suited to me and my style and again with that piece rather than styling it as more of a dressed up piece I decided to go the other end of the scale again so kind of contrasting these pieces a little bit but I thought I would just try and casual this down I think it's very easy to look at a top like this and be like oh this has to be saved for evenings but actually it could quite as easily be saved for a weekend or worn to work or something like that I feel like it's just a really cool trendy piece so I styled these with my fave blue jeans these are a light blue wash which I think are perfect for spring they work really beautifully with the white I feel like the two just complement each other so beautifully perfect for spring and then footwear wise I was a little bit torn actually I found it quite tricky to find the perfect shoes for this look but I went for my Chanel dupe I'm sure you see these and wonder whether they are Chanel no they're not they're from Oasis so a steal super affordable I think they're around the 32 pound mark but I will leave them linked in the description down below so you can check them out and I just feel like they work really nicely together they're just a nude shoe so you're not adding too much new color black goes with everything nude goes with everything so I feel like this look just really ties up nicely and my final piece is the hardest to show on the hanger because it doesn't actually have 
the little stringy bits, which usually are really annoying, but in this is instance were very helpful for the sake of this video. But I'm sure you get the vibe and you'll see how I wear it anyway. So it's just a one shoulder top, of course. It's a bit more cropped and the body is slightly more fitted as well, which I really love. The puff sleeve is super exaggerated, which I adore. I've done a video all about how to style puff sleeve tops and you will see me styling loads in that video as well, but I just, I, I love this whole vibe. And again, it goes into a bit more of a cuff detail, sort of similar to that Zara one. So it, I would say is a little bit more dressy. I stepped out of my comfort zone with this one. It was a look that was very much experimental for me, but I feel like this week I've been experimenting quite a lot. I've experimented with my hairstyle again, so let me know what you think. Um, I feel like these bits might be a bit too long, but anyway, that's... Um, that's not what we're talking about here. As I was saying, I went a little bit experimental with this outfit and I decided to play on the brown toned colors, which is quite unusual because I feel like browns and like those kind of neutral colors can be a little bit tricky. So I paired this top with some camel slash brown trousers. These are very high waisted trousers. So I was able to tuck in the corset kind of part of this top which was lovely. I love how that looked, but I don't know. Let me know what you think of these two colors together. Do you think they're too similar? Do you think they don't look that great together? Let me know your thoughts, but I thought that was like quite cool. And then because like I said, we're going into spring, we're having a little bit of sunshine every now and then. I just paired these with some animal print sliders. These are super inexpensive. They were just from Primark. And I thought, again, it sort of tied in the chocolate colors and the neutral colors together really, really nicely. So yeah, it's kind of, it's kind of a mix between all of the looks, kind of a bit of a smart casual look you can add some heels if you want it super sort of fancy or just you know some sliders for like an everyday kind of vibe so i hope you liked those outfits as always i would love to know which outfit was your favorite was it outfit number one number two or number three let me know in the comments down below and i really hope you enjoyed this video if you did i will hopefully see you back on my channel very soon i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and i will see you all in my next video which will be on thursday and should be a favorite so i'll see you all then a big thank you for watching bye